Hey everybody, what's up? We're here with a timeless reading. First card that we have out is Justice. And Ten of Cups. I'm seeing something definitely being made right here. Like all is right in the world when this is going on. It's feeling like something is coming into the spotlight or into center focus here. Having justice be the topic and having us start off with justice, this would show anything that, anything that had not been sort of like as it should be in like the natural order of things or the cosmic order of things, things being like put back into place essentially. So whatever the teetering was that had been happening, this is going to be a rebalancing essentially of the scales. So things being made up for, and I'm seeing there be a lot of joy because of this too, but I get this feeling again of this 10 of cups being associated with like a spotlight. Like as you see in this justice card, it's very colorful. This card is very colorful and it feels like it's carrying the energy of justice. And this card feels like what is going to be like in the crosshairs of that and things coming to light, but being like center focus, but through the eyes of justice. So there can be attention being put on a very particular thing or like specific things that this can be applied to. And the Wheel of Fortune is looking like, like the world to me in this. So this can be like a lot of different things going on at once and like a lot of justice being brought all at once and it can feel like a lot of things being put, like a flashlight shining on these things. That's what it can feel like seeing this happening, witnessing this. I definitely feel like there's an awareness, like I'm getting a really awake vibe from Justice here. Like something has activated this is what it's feeling like. Things being made right. I feel like there's a force that's been part of this speaking in both like a micro and a macro perspective temperance on the bottom of the deck is feeling like all of the effort to put this in motion all of the like waiting it just it feels like being a part of this whole process and everything that went into this whole process. Also too, having temperance and having justice. This is both Sagittarius on the bottom of the deck and Libra and both of them have to do with like morality and things being made right and like the natural order of things and like the universal law, like that type of stuff here. And I'm seeing this feel like like there can be a sense of peace about this, about what's happening. But see how this Queen of Cups is over there? It feels like there's a, a force that sort of like made this happen. And because it's Queen of Cups, it can be like an opening of the heart chakra that is pushing things in this direction, like influencing the energetic movement of things here. Because it feels like it feels like one has awakened now and is seeing things clearly. And this can also be like a form of protection as well, where one feels like because their heart is open and there's this sense of like knowing of protection, being able to, it feels like throw this into the spotlight now. Like this is where it needs to be. And in the spotlight again, like that's where justice is. So it putting this like up front, like center stage, like that type of thing. And the energy that's behind it, behind the motion of this. And all of this feeling like it's part of an awakening too. I'm seeing this has taken a lot of energy, a lot of effort to make this happen. And a lot of waiting, like a lot of, 
a lot of this being a process and being down for the process of this to see this through like that type of thing like the new earth order Some of this stuff that's coming up, it can be sort of difficult to recognize. Having Son of Wands and Knight of Wands and having Five of Cups here can be action that was taken. Knight of Wands can be like without playing the tape to the end, without fully thinking about the consequences, just jumping into something impulsively. It can be these things where it was just sort of like a reaction that happened. And then something definitely going in a way that one was like, oh, I didn't know that that would happen. I didn't think that that would happen. Or there can just be feelings surrounding this where it's like a sadness about this for some reason, about certain things being brought to light. But it, it feels more like justice is connected with the Five of Cups. So it's like, this is just the natural karmic progression of things of doing something because we have justice here and this is connected with libra this can be a social thing that's happening but having justice be connected with libra that's ruled by venus this has to do with one's like moral guide one's values and the only reason we would have five of cups here after something is being brought to light is feeling like these are the repercussions that happen when something is not done in alignment in true alignment with one's values so having this knight of wands here and having four and having five of cups is feeling like somebody doing something like in a snap way or in a quick way or not really thinking about it fully or not thinking something through and then having it actually be someone had taken action in a way that's not truly aligned with their values with their like social morals but feeling like it can feel in some ways like this is a rock bottom and like they can only go up from here see the energy how it's kind of like facing down it feels like like getting to the bottom of something and maybe even feeling emotionally like one has hit rock bottom but that it can only go up from there and i'm also seeing one be in a space where there's a lot of investing in one's emotional life at this point in time recovering as one needs to or charging up as one needs to but it feels like in a way where there are realizations that are being made that are very important can feel like seeing things for the first time through this lens this can be happening among groups I'm seeing there be a lot of talk here that's connected with this like things being set right socially is what I'm seeing and an awareness of actions and how action has been taken. Having Knight of Wands too can be like action that was taken where there had been like a lack of accountability or a lack of responsibility and that now coming into play is what this is feeling like. There can also too at times be a stepping away from things as well to really like see the bigger picture, or see things for what it is or what they are and having the high priestess here is feeling like having a good understanding energetically of what's going on here and also what's behind this too like this deep sense of knowing it feels like the way that i'm seeing this energy feels like like there was a knowing that this would be happening
like for those for the people that are tuned into the high priestess it, it feels like the high priestess within themselves it feels like there's a a knowing so it almost feels like this isn't super surprising that this is taking place kind of it's like when something happens that maybe to other people that are watching this that weren't really tuned in they could be like what's happening or what's going on or feel really surprised by certain things that are happening but the people that have been the energies that have been tuned into the high priestess it's like they they're not surprised by it it's almost like expected that this would be happening but that may not be everybody's initial like take on this like people that weren't connected in this way or like to the high priestess may have not like seen this coming something like that but the people that are connected with the high priestess they would feel like a knowing it's like even though you're you may be experiencing something for the first time happening it's this feeling that like like this was going to happen or this was meant to happen or like things are going the way that they're supposed to so it's like a lack of surprise is what this is feeling like because of that so that's what i'm seeing here All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.